very funny and there's a lot of like kind of a lot of action there's a little bit of romance in there um but the biggest thing i have to say is it's a humongous comedy the show has a lot of jokes in it and it's funny <laughs> Shrek is a very happy show. It has lots of great music and lots of like awesome costumes and like amazing dance scenes. It's just a really fun show to watch. It's just an amazing show. I love it. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, music is marvelously written. Uh, it's super creative based on the DreamWorks movie. Um, the costumes are fantastic. The music will blow you away. The voices in the show are fantastic. It's very similar to the movie, you just add music and it makes it ten times more fun. It's enjoyable for all audiences. It's my second time being in it, so I just, I love it because it's such a fun show. There's not a moment where you won't be entertained. I was head of makeup on another production of Shrek in Escondido. That was amazing and I was very upset I couldn't be a part of it at the time, but now that I get to be a part of this one, I'm so insanely excited and glad. They couldn't make it as big as it should have been. While it was still a fine production, you know, Scott and Mayer are amazing people who are willing to put everything in it to make the biggest, most fantastic show they can, and that's what this show is going to be. Well, my character, Lord Farquaad, is obviously the lead role, and then that green guy is just like a background character, no one cares about him. I sent him away to, uh, find a princess for me to marry so I can become the king of Duloc. And yeah, there's like a donkey or something in there somewhere too. All our leads are really great. And, and I think that they're really gonna uh, draw you into the story and, and what's important about this story. All the, the bonds and connections between all of the castmates will create more energy and just be more lively on stage. The dancing is really fun and stuff. And uh, Kevin, our choreographer, he's just like, tried to do a really good job in choreographing us, which is amazing because the final product was just phenomenal. Basically our choreographer, Kevin, has worked extremely hard on this choreography to make it completely different from anything that anyone else has put up on stage for Shrek the Musical. And we've had hours of rehearsal perfecting all of these dances and this choreography, so it's going to be really sharp and really precise. There's a lot of energy and fun in them. In the story of my life is what's really like, down. But um, it's a lot of fun to do it. It's so much fun to watch and listen to at the same time when you're in the audience. And I think all the costumes will be really cool. And all the dances, there's so much energy in the cast. And there's like funny lines. And everybody, I think everybody's going to love it. I think one thing that I love about our show is how much you really do get to see the ensemble because they make this show. Yes, people will come to see Shrek and Donkey and Fiona, these classic characters that they're used to, but then you get these incredible other characters thrown into it. I feel like our cast just has a lot of really good singers. Like, no one is a weak singer, so everything is just gonna sound really loud and good. Everyone who's a lead is so strong, and our ensemble is even stronger, which makes our show just a big powerhouse of voices, of talent, the dancing is incredible. Everything about the show is built as a perfect ensemble. I think the show um, is about embracing your differences and being able to be proud of who you are, no matter what that means, and that everyone is special in their own way. Shrek is about accepting people for who they are and not what they are, and seeing the inner beauty in someone. Um, I'd probably say beauty is in the inside on the outside. Fiona expects to be beautiful her whole entire life and then when she turns into the ogre, she doesn't think she's beautiful but Shrek still thinks she is. We're always taught when we're growing up fairy tales, fairy tales, especially little girls, you know, meet the prince, he's charming, he rescues you, blah blah blah. And it's usually in one of two forms. She's beautiful long hair, she's this, she's that. Someone comes to her rescue and she looks a certain way. And the rescuer looks a certain way. And so what it teaches you is heroes come in all types of shapes, colors, and sizes. 